What's up guys and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm your host Chef Goat. If I could please get you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications and spread the word for the Goat Nation. It would be greatly appreciated. But guys, we're back and I've decided through the help of from your guys' comments and my own uh, personal opinion that we're going to go with Scenario B as um, the scenario we're going to lead into the future episodes. Now, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch Scenario B, I suggest you do so because it explains a lot of how things are going to proceed forward. Basically, though, um, instead of Connor being executed, Connor lives and, um, yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, though, guys, we're jumping right back into the next episode and we're going to see what happens. So hopefully I made the right decision. Hopefully. If not, well, then we're going to have some trouble, but we'll go through it as the best we can. But here we go, guys. Wish us luck. All right, November 5th, 2038, 10.58 p.m. John's Cafe. Organic coffee. Now, how can you get any more organic than coffee is? Isn't coffee naturally organic? It's, it's just beans, right? I don't know. Alright, um, so I'm assuming this is Kara and the little girl Alice? Yep. Okay, so they've made it on the bus and... Alright. In the line. Now we gotta get off the bus. End of the line. End of the line. Leave. Now guys, I can't think of her name, but who is the Kara? In real life, she's somebody. I, I know she's that chick from the Hunger Games, but I can't remember her name. Let me know down in the comments if you guys remember, because I can't think of her name for some reason. But I know it's her. It's got to be her. Leave bus, okay? I'm trying. Oh, okay. I gotta move this way. Stay here, shelter, um... Oh, I, I guess I was supposed to ask him. Um... Okay, what do we do now, though? She's cold. Okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Yeah, we got to. She's gonna freeze to death. All right, now where do we go? Find shelter Come for in, the night. Gotta hurry. There's a motel right there. Let's try to stay at the motel. All right. Okay. There's yeah, the motel. Comfort but not discreet. We'll need money. Okay. Uncomfortable but safe. How do we get in? Um, very uncomfortable but discreet. Bowling alley. Shop is closed. I don't know about that. I don't want to draw the police. Won't open before morning. Okay. What's this? Drop off service open 24 7, can't stay. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Check the house. Check motel. Check parking lot. Okay. Um. What? Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to deal with him because he's going to alert them. Um. Huh. Let's check here. Need a better... Need a place to live? Yeah. Of course we need a place to live. 
Come on, girl. Keep up. How do we get in? That's the question. What? There's nothing more this way. Oh, why? What? Fine. We gotta find somewhere to go. Look up. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. And cut fence here. Wait, what? L1. With a wire cutter? Well, how do I get a wire cutter? How do I... I don't know what to do. How do I get wire cutter? Trash man! Find wire cutter. Return to Alice. Alice, where'd you come on? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh! Nice! Cool, thanks, trash dude! Out of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, well. Okay. I'm trying to f trying to figure it out. Um, let's go into the twenty. No. Um. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least we'll okay. be out of the cold. Find some help. What do you want? Um, I'm a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Come on, man. Look, this is a convenience store. Yeah, Not I know. The Salvation Army, okay? You don't have to be rude. You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Steal from the cashier? No, I don't, I'm... Wow, we're not gonna shoplift. Rude freaking dude. All right, let's let's try here. Let's try here. We, we we gotta try. Come on, Alice. We can do it. All right. Enter. All right, we did it. Okay. Now, can we get around? What's this? Squat in the house. Ooh, 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 I found something. Wire cutters! Wire cutters, yes! Now we can get into the house. Yep, yep, yep. We're going into the house, that's for darn sure. Cut. Eh. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew it would work out. Eh. Oh. Eh. We did it. We did it. Oh, Alice, we're going to be fine, girl. Are you all right? I cut my shirt, but I think yes, I'm okay. just a scratch. Be careful. Come on. You can do it. You're smaller than me. There we go. Good job, Don't see? Don't worry. We're just having a look. Okay. 
Find a way in. Hmm. Yeah, that convenience store dude was a total jerk. He didn't have to be, you know? Laughing at us and then being mean, you know? I mean, come on. No, that ain't gonna work. Okay, okay. Looks like nobody's in there, so that's a good sign. Eh, come on, let us in! Alice? Oh, Alice. crap. Where the hell she go? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. No! Uh, innocent. Innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. No, not this little girl. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Little girl. Um. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Yeah. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. No, come on, dude. Um. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Yeah. Come on, the man. Are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. That's awful. I'm sorry, but please don't hurt us. Hospitality, reassure, insist. Um, hospitality. Uh, Listen. We really need some help. Please. so kind of you if you'd let us stay. Please. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still okay. finds it difficult to control himself. Yeah. Sometimes okay. his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph okay. has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. They, they won't. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Um, yeah, we gotta okay. stay. We'll just stay the night. Come on. Come. Come, come, come on. Oh, sh sh I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> <coughs> I, I know, guys. This is it's a little bit risky, but we have no choice. You know, it's better than it could be. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He'd like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Okay. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. She just, I... Let's see where you can sleep. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for that little girl, but you know what I mean? It's better than her dad. And, you know, again, like Kara said, it's only for the night. Only for the night. Make a bed for Alice and start a fire. Okay, I can do that. Um. Find matches. Okay. Um, what's this? Matt? Oh, come on! All right. Got matches. Collect wood. Okay. Oh, don't want to talk to him right now. Where's wood? Oh, there we go. Wood. Perfect. Okay, now I can start the fire. Man, all this work I gotta do in a video game, guys. I, I still can't get over that. Eh. Okay. Um... Now I guess I'll talk to him, see what's up. Where 
are you doing? RA9. What does that mean? Yeah. What? Oh! Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. You don't know? What? I don't know. Okay. Huh. I think I remember that one other deviant that Connor was talking to was talking about RA9. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to be like the savior or something? I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully that dude, you know, doesn't try to kill us in our sleep or something, you know? Because that would be awfully bad. I would be, you know, like so devastated if that happened, you know? Um, this is a good place for Alice to sleep. It's a bed. Right? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. It's so new to me. Find it. Oh, find a blanket. Oh. No, it's not technically a blanket. Okay. Um, hmm. Wait, is there a blanket in here? Well, here's a blanket. Um, ow. Whatever. That's creepy. Okay, let's see. Ooh, hey, what's this? A pillow? Another pillow? Okay. Place it for Alice. Or maybe that was a pillow and a blanket. Awesome! Genius! You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. There you go. See? I am a freaking awesome android mama thing. Why didn't he ever love me? He did love you. He Why just screwed he up. so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. I know. So screwed. Maybe I did something wrong. No, you didn't. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No, it's not true. That's why he was always so angry. No, it's because sometimes shit happens. I just wanted us to be a family. I know. It's, it's screwed. It's not I fair. to love me. He does love you. He's just screwed up. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. No, I promise. I promise. Yeah. Will we be together forever? I hope so. Forever. She needs some reassurance, even if it's not true, you know? Because, my goodness. Look what this poor little girl's gone through in her short life already, guys. You know, I mean, I probably shouldn't promise her, you know, just because I don't know the future, obviously. But again, this little girl needs some reassurance to keep going, you know? She's had it so hard. It's gonna be okay. You've gotta sleep. I'm gonna freaking make sure of it, guys. <laughs> if I will do anything, it will make sure that they don't. You know, bad things don't happen to Sleep these two. I will do my best. Lie with Alice. Leave her space. Now she wants, she wants you by her. See, human empathy. Oh, guys, this is. This is one emotional roller coaster. It's not a horror game, but it's an emotional roller coaster. I swear. You know, because you, you really. I'll hand it to the developers of this game. You get emotionally attached to these darn people. It's crazy. 
Now let's see what, what could have happened. There's one, two, three other things that could have happened. And like multiple other things leading up to it. But I think I chose the, the right scenario. I, I mean, I believe I did. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, to please like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and spread the word. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm your host, Jeff Goat, and I'm out. Peace.